Yeah, ever since I basically stepped in the gym, I felt um, really welcome, and a bunch of the girls were super tight, and they welcomed me in right away, and I felt like it was a community of support and something that I wanted to be a part of right away. What did they identify in you as a player that made you a good fit for what they do as a program on the court? Yeah, they said that um, my how I was dynamic and able to play multiple positions, help in the back row, help on offense, and be an asset wherever they needed me, really, is uh, one of the main reasons. Uh, you, you know, you were an attacker uh, mm -hmm. during your time at Dwyer. Will you say, stay in that position? Will you change positions? Do you know where they, uh -huh. they plan to utilize you on the next level? Yeah, they have a bunch of um, seniors now and upperclassmen that are strong offensively, so they mentioned something about me helping in defense until they graduated out. But it just depends on how everything rolls out and where they need me, and I'll play wherever they need. Where were you able to grow the most as a player during your time here at Bishop Dwinger as you ascended to, you know, your senior season? Yeah, I think um, definitely grew into becoming a leader and having to push other girls on my team and learn how to lead by not only example but also encourage people and um, especially the lower classmen that needed me the most. For you, uh, you know, with your mom and your sister, volleyball is a big part of the family. So how, how important was it to stay sort of close to home but also be independent a few hours away at Wright State? Mm -hmm. My family watches a lot of volleyball, <laughs> yeah. so it's it was nice to be able to only be two and a half hours from home because I get to go to a lot of my sister's games now, and I feel like that's such a good experience, and it's so great to be able to watch her, and I want my family to be able to watch me too us being so close, so it was really nice. Officially signing today, what does it mean to be a Division One athlete, and when did that become uh, more than a dream? When did it become like a reality to you? Yeah, um, I feel like it's still kind of surreal to me right now, and I'm excited to get in the gym and feel what it's actually like, but um, it's a really big deal to me and to my family, especially because of my sister and my mom, and they're some of my biggest role models, but also biggest supporters, so I'm excited.